this is Bill from the Upside of Downsizing. It's another day and we're going to get started with Cobb and as you can see we've got a little machinery with us this day. I want to thank Handyman for loaning this to us and uh, if it works out we'll end up purchasing our own cement mixer because we're going to need it quite often. But it was real nice of them and we're going to see how it works for mixing up our cob. So today we're going to try a little bit of a different mixture. What we're using is pure earthen clay. Well, what we're using is the pure dirt from our, our property without any added sand. We've done tests on it and the tests always evaluate at anywhere between 25 and 50 percent clay to sand ratio. So I don't think there's a need to add any additional sand. Yvonne kind of differs with me but she's been convinced to allow me to try one batch this way and we'll see how it works out. So let's get started. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to use three buckets of our soil mixture. And when I say mixture, it's the stuff straight out of the ground. It has been sifted through quarter inch hardware cloth and Yvonne is just going to fill up three buckets. Okay, so what we've got going here is two buckets of dirt and one quarter bucket of water. And we just added, so we started off with a one and a half buckets of dirt and a quarter bucket of water. And now we just added another half a bucket of dirt and Yvonne has got gone to get some uh, finely chopped straw or finer chopped straw. So we'll see how this is working out. Right now, I'll tell you, I got to get in there with a stick and mix it around, but it's looking very promising. Okay, so we've got a total of two buckets of dirt, one quarter bucket of water, plus one of these small containers of water. And it really is coming to a great consistency. Yvonne just added how many handfuls? Three. Three handfuls. Okay, so we think we're about to stop this batch. You can see how it's clumping together. Sorry about the sunlight. I'm gonna get in there as far as I can without sacrificing my hand. It's clumping together and falling in a nice form. So we're gonna dump this out on a tarp and have a look at it. So we laid it out on the tarp and added another three or four handfuls of chopped straw. And as you can see, it's holding its shape real nice. So we're going to use this the way it is. And uh, while Yvonne starts cobbing the wall, building up the wall, I'm going to start making a second batch. Okay, so this is the second batch. It's been going for less than five minutes, and this is just an incredibly easy process by comparison to the tarp method. So what we have in here now are two buckets of dirt, one bucket of water, sorry about the wind, and I've got three handfuls of straw in there right now. This is the second batch. Um, it appears as though I added a little more straw than the first batch. Yvonne says it feels the same consistency, it just is a little different because of the straw content. <laughs> How high can you build up today? I don't know, kind of like a like a brick height. Okay. And then so four four or six inches or so. Yeah, about. That's right. And again, for those of you who haven't seen the, our, some of the previous videos, we have a line right here going across these studs. That's how high we're going to take the cob. After Yvonne fills in those bays with cob, we're going to take chicken wire and run it across all the way around the building. And then the second coat of cob will then be locked together with the, uh, it'll lock the entire, all the units together with the chicken wire. And then from that point up, we're going to use the adobe bricks. I call them adobe bricks. They're basically made out of the same material. 
that we're using for Cobb. In fact, Yvonne suggested we make another mix using the uh, handyman's mixer here and run another batch of, uh, of bricks to see how it works. So we're going to take these bricks and then bri brick up those bays up to the top. Basically from, from here upward will be brick just to give the building a little visual interest and also to give us the opportunity to work with some different materials. Okay, while Yvonne is up there using the cob that we've already prepared, I'm at the lower portion of our property pulling up some additional dirt. This is the area where the test uh, holes were dug for our septic system. And so the uh, dirt that we're digging up has actually been turned over a couple times and comes from several feet deep, giving us a little bit of a higher clay content. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking, and it's going to be tough to do with one hand, but I'm just taking shovelfuls and putting it through this frame with quarter inch hardware mesh that I made and basically sifting out, sifting out the larger aggregate. there just take it and this is the sign when you see clumps like that you know it's got higher clay content in it and then just rubbing it through to sift out to sift out the larger aggregate and other inner, uh, organic materials that we don't want so with the last batch that I made Yvonne's gonna try a a sample of bricks. I figure she'll just make three. We'll see how they uh, how they release from the mold to see if the mixture is a little too wet or not. She, her spider senses are telling her it may be a little bit wet, but we'll find out. So the one thing Yvonne has learned is that uh, she does no longer she no longer does an intermediate tamp. She, at the beginning, she was filling the mold half full, tamping, and then filling it up and tamping again. And she discovered that created sort of a seam in the middle of the brick. So, not looking promising. They're sagging just a little bit. See that last one right there where she's working on it? This first one over here doesn't look bad. It's a little bit shit. That third one was a little loose. Maybe we ought to take a little bit of a break and let this picture work out just a little bit. What do you think? Okay, so lunch time. Lunch time. So the end of the day, and we were able to accomplish three batches of cob. Again, using a cement mixer that we were able to borrow from Handyman. Big shout out and a thank you to him. We were able to uh, produce these three batches of cob with much less physical effort, and it is a real game changer. The quality of the cob is actually better as well, for we feel as though it's more thoroughly mixed. We were also able to use a little bit higher content of straw in this cob, which will give it better tensile strength, and that is because of the fact that Frankly, it was less physical labor and more uh, allowing a machine to do the work for us. So that's about it for today. We were able, like I said, we were able to produce three batches of cob, and we could actually do more. But you're limit when you do cob building, you're limited to the amount you can actually uh, construct in a day. Otherwise, your cob will start to slump under the weight of itself. So, with that being said. We will see you in the next video. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the box below. Uh, click the subscribe button if you haven't already. And, oh, by the way, Yvonne wants to say goodbye too. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.